Let me take a moment to thank you for investing your time, energy, and maybe some of your hard-earned cash money into this course. By investing in allyship, you're on the path to advancing social justice and equity among groups who have been historically disadvantaged. This is really important work, so thank you for doing it. I'm gonna be honest with you though, allyship is not for the faint-hearted. It's a lot of ongoing long-term work and doing stuff that is not always easy or comfortable. But what I can promise you is that if you deeply care about making this world a better, fairer place, committing to allyship is a great way to pursue that vision. As an example, consider the straight allies who campaigned for the eventual legalization of same-sex marriage here in the US and other parts of the world. Not to minimize the actual work done by members of the LGBTQ community who contributed to that success, but it's also important to note that another factor to their victory were the LGBTQ allies, the straight majority group members who could have otherwise done nothing and had been completely unaffected by whatever ended up happening in the end. Life could have gone on as normal, but instead these allies chose to step in and do the work and help however they could. And they all got to share that victory together. Forming ally partnerships can lead to quicker and greater gains on moving the needle towards a more fair and equitable world. It's important that both allies and partners fully commit to allyship though. This is hard work for all parties involved. You're gonna have uncomfortable conversations and there's gonna be awkward moments. Emotions will run high and egos will be bruised. Allyship requires developing the resilience or the strength to bounce back from difficult experiences if you're gonna do this work well and continue marching forward whenever things get tough because they will, but it will be worth it. Not only does research support the positive effect of allies on promoting equity and inclusion, I can also tell you that I have personally benefited from the support of my allies throughout my career. As a first generation college student from a low income background, I was statistically unlikely to one day earn my PhD or own my own business. I'm absolutely certain that a major part of my professional success has had to do with the incredible allies who have used their time and energy and resources to help me along the way. Most importantly, all my allies over the years have treated me as someone who was worth investing in. They saw me and told me that I had the potential that was worth developing, and I believed them. Allyship is not only good for the people allies serve, but being an ally can bring a lot of personal benefit and joy to our professional lives, our personal lives, and the world at large. Now, let's dig into those professional, personal, and humanistic reasons for why you're choosing to invest in allyship. At this time, pull out your worksheet labeled Choosing Allyship. Reflect on the prompts and fill out the various sections, articulating why allyship is work worth doing, a cause that's worth committing to. Take your time working through the questions and answering honestly. My hope is that you'll be able to use your answers at a later time as a source of personal strength for when you encounter challenges and adversity on your allyship journey. You'll appreciate the reminder as to why you're doing this work in the first place and why it's worth it. Use the break between this video to complete the personal reflection within your Choosing Allyship worksheet. And remember, you'll end up using whatever you end up writing later on in this course and probably later on in life as well. All right, so what makes for a good ally partnership? Join me in the next video to find out.